Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel, guys. We are starting with the the archetype deck. Just to see what's going on with your person or you. Place the energy, right? Alright. Holy Spirit, what are we gonna get today? Whoever's on your mind, guys, don't forget, it's, it, it, this is a collective read, so it may not be your reading, it may, it may resonate, it may not, right? If not, that's fine, which is which is good, give your emotions a break, right? Give your emotions a break. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let's get it, guys. Let's get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I'm just going to take off the top one, and then I'm going to shuffle, because whatever's supposed to come out will come out, right? Whatever's supposed to come out will come out. Let's do one more, Spirit. I see you. I see you. So, we got the Messiah, the mock nun, a martyr, and then the priest. Now, the Messiah, the mock nun, the martyr, the martyr, it's all in their light attribute. But the priest is in their shadow. All right. So, the Messiah... They're serving humanity with humility. This person is giving back regardless of the job, right? They're just giving back. It's like they're a do-gooder. They like to give. They like to help. They don't care uh, what is given back to them. This is like ah, that person, right? <laughs> so somebody, got to, somebody has a do-gooder. They work hard. They do all that stuff. So then here's the monk nun who was also in their light attribute. So this person here, guys, they are selfless, devoted, and single-minded dedication to spirit. So this person, they're very selfless. They give to others. It compliments the Messiah, right? They're single-minded dedication to spirit. So this person is very dedicated to spirit. They are in touch. They are grounded. They are they're connected. They're like me. They're like you, the people that watch this page, right? Because if you're watching tarot, nine times out of ten, you're very spiritual, right? You're more of a spiritual than you are religious. Like, I mean, yes, we go to church and this and that, but sometimes sitting in that room and then you just have that one man and that woman up there saying, you got to do this, 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 and this, and then if you're straight and you're wrong. That ain't right. There's a lot of different religions out there, guys. I better get used to it. <laughs> you better get used to it. Go to India. Go to India. They have a God for everything, right? You never go wrong. Go to India. You'll be forgiven all the time. <laughs> all right, guys. So here's the martyr and their light attribute. So this person is learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause. So this person is, they're learning to transcend. They're learning to serve. They're learning to serve others. They're learning to serve themselves or just a cause in general right so this is a do-gooder happy 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 supportive helpful giving to everybody right expecting nothing in return that's that person but then here's a priest in reverse who is this priest in reverse this person violates the trust of your spiritual community seduced by your own spiritual role Let me read that again. Violates the trust of your spiritual community. Seduced by your own spiritual role. God damn it the hell. Guys, do you remember when I said you're more spiritual than you are religious? Right? Stay with me. This is spiritual. This is the Messiah. They don't have you in a four room. This is a monk nun. They don't have you in a four wall room. And this is the martyr. And this person is learning how to transcend, to find a new light for themselves, to find a new spiritual journey. But then in their shadow self, guess what their shadow self is? Their shadow self is giving up on the religious part of them. Let me read it to you again. This priest, this person, because they are willing to change their spiritual selves, Maybe it's something that you're doing. Maybe it's reading cards. Because, you know, people, you pull out cards. They're like, that's the devil. You a witch. You a that. You a this. You a that. Watch this. Shut up. 
Pulling cards ain't no difference. I told y'all it's in one of my other videos when you go to church and you let somebody lay their hands on you, right? And then they prophesize. I can put money on it. Y'all can sit me next to that man in that church. Give him a deck. Give me a deck. And then you sit across from us and I bet you we can read you verbatim. You know why? Because it's your energy. So anyway. So this person is choosing to change their spiritual light, choosing to change their religion or lack of religion because maybe they don't want to be in a religious thing. Maybe they just want to be spiritual, right? Spiritual allows you to come one with yourself and God and the higher beings and this and that and this and that. You glow, right? So because this person is choosing to do this, to see things in a different light or date someone in a different light, it says they're violating the trust of your spiritual community. Starts there. Key word here is community. So your people, right? So you decided, I don't want to go to that church anymore. Like, I don't want to be a Christian anymore. I want to be a Muslim, right? So now your Christian people are judging you. How dare you, Christian people? What makes you better than being a Muslim? What makes you better than being Baptist? What makes you better? What makes you better? What makes you better? Makes you better? Community, key word here. So community thinks that this person is being seduced by their own spiritual role. Whoever's going through this, tell them to get in line. <laughs> tell them to get in line. Because whatever path you're on, you're on the right path. You're on the right path or you wouldn't be on this path. Yeah, so you, you're you're in the energy of a Messiah, you're in the energy of a Mahmud, and you're in the energy of a martyr. They're all in their light attribute. But because you're in their light attribute and you're changing and you're seeing things differently, maybe you're rubbing on crystals, walking around with them. I don't know. Maybe your life flipped like mine did. Because this, this came out of nowhere, I tell you, it did. It came out of nowhere. But spiritual things are gifts. And nine times out of ten, you don't see it coming. It's either given to you, thrown at you, or you dragged in. I was jumped in by spirit. I was, I was, just, I was just jumped in every day, every day. I was getting my butt kicked. <laughs> I'm serious, guys. I was jumped in by spirit. Spirit said, you're going to do it. I said, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. And then my daughter kept saying, but mom, you really can. You should do it online. I was like, I don't want to. And, and it started as a joke for me. And then here it is. Now I'm addicted to y'all. Lord, I like how it's crazy. Whatever. What else goes with this reading spirit? Inner peace, guys. I told you, you're choosing inner peace and diligence. You know why? You're going to be diligent in your path going forward, regardless of what the naysayers say, regardless of them saying you changing your religion, blah, 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 blah. That's the community. That's the community. The community, you, you can have each other. And you know what? You're taking action on this. And you're going to move forward. You're going to keep going. You're going to inner peace. People are true. I don't know what church you went to. I don't know what you've been told. I don't know what you do. Okay? But if you go to a church and one church... Is judging another church or judging another religion or da 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 then you're judging. That's in the Bible too, right? Come on now. Be accepting of other religions and other spiritual gifts. As long as people people ain't out here hurting nobody and doing crazy things and hush. I ain't heard nobody get hurt by a crystal before or tarot cards. Like I've just never have you guys? I'll wait. Hmm, yeah. Never heard that before. I never heard that tarot card. Cause we can talk about church and things be going down in the church, right? People will judge a tarot reader. But you won't judge that man in that church that screwed the whole congregation. But you go back to church every Sunday. He First, he started out with two women. Then he done screwed 18 and y'all still saying, it's okay. He has demons. No, those ain't demons. <laughs> That's a choice. 
He screws the congregation because the congregations allow themselves to be screwed by that man. Okay? So any woman that is screwing the preachers, the pastors, the bishops, it's your fault too. Because if you pull the roof off the church and it's just wide open and y'all just screwing each other back and forth, that's a choice. That has nothing to do with God. The Bible didn't tell you to do that and God didn't either. But y'all forgive them when y'all go back to church every Sunday. You got to forgive Pastor Paul. Pastor Paul didn't know that his penis was weakened at Sister Cherry. Come on, guys. So somebody is changing. They change and they're doing things differently and they're being judged for it. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> boop, boop. <laughs> Don't know I care. Keep changing whoever you are, right? Don't be up in your head. You've been up in your head long enough. Don't be afraid. This person's moving on. They also want love. Don't be up in your head anymore. You want emotional fulfillment. It probably comes with a change. When you get more in in tune with your spiritual self, right? This is a king of cups, guys. This is a loving person. Somebody who wants emotional love. I guess you probably didn't find it in the four walls, did you? When I read my Bible, I read it at home. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Every now and then, I go to church with my friends a few times a year. Hell, they don't even go to church like they used to. And now they're calling me for readings. But we don't judge each other because we're all still Christian. We all still go to church whenever we need to. This person could be walking away from an unloving person. So that could be the person that's judging them. The person that's judging them. It's like, you're violating yourself. Blah, 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 blah. Somebody mad. Stay mad, right? That's not God like. So your person here that's trying to leave, the person trying to leave, they're not entertaining those fights anymore. They said, I'm not going to do it. That was the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So they know it wasn't a different spirit. What else? These cards are talking. Yeah, this person is manifesting. They're manifesting their way up out of these judgmental people. They're making a decision to do so. To a story. Yeah, this person wants peace. Yeah, they're choosing to let this tower fall. Isn't it funny? Somebody finds a different spiritual gift or a way to ground themselves more to i don't know finding more humility being more selfless being more given thinking differently like all of those things right and then someone's mad someone's mad because this person is changing wow yep and you know why this person is going back to somebody from their past maybe that past changed them maybe that past is making them think differently right and they have a little bit of regrets they have some regrets guys Probably because they wasn't with that past sooner, right? They should have been with the past sooner. Yeah, they was all up in their head over you. All up in their head over the past. They were depressed for a while. And that's why this person is changing. Because whatever was going on up in here, since he violated the community, the spiritual community, spiritual community, y'all did something wrong. Apparently, because that's why that person wanted to change. King of Wands energy person probably wants to come and talk to you look he has a karmic the karmic does not want this man to come back and talk to you and say hey i changed i changed i'm a new me now right she doesn't want that yeah page of pentacles this queen of pentacles is immature you're a childish person they don't want this person to change and you know what that queen of pentacles you need to go heal baby in our four swords. She needs to go heal because guess what? This right here, this new beginning for this person that's leaving is happening. It's happening. It is. <laughs> Somebody's trying to better themselves and people don't like it. He'll be celebrating soon or she. Feel free to flip the roles. They'll be celebrating soon with somebody from the past where they planted some seeds a long time ago. They probably forgot to water the garden, but guess what? They bought a holes and they on their way now. They got to water that garden now, and they're getting away from these judgmental people, right? Page of Swords. Look at the karmics. Told you. Page of Swords in reverse. They're getting away from these judgmental people. People don't like it when you change. People don't like it when you change. Cut them out. Cut them out. Come on out. He's not offering any love. Nine of Cups in reverse. Ace of Swords. Nine of Cups in reverse. 
So that means if they were engaged, anything like that, any type of proposals, I love you, you love me, they rescind it. They said, get that back. All right, guys, last card. Is it the last part? Yep, Queen of Wands. He's going through the sexy, sexy. Told you, people don't like it. They don't like it. This person has changed for themselves. I just saw 1515. They're bettering themselves. They're changing the way that they think, the way that they live spiritually, and their current spiritual community don't like it. Isn't that something? Your spiritual community is, is being judgmental. Shame on you, spiritual community. Shame on you. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.